What you want to have is a leader who comes in and says, what's, what's next? What's the next challenges? And with the pace of change, that even becomes much more urgent. What is that vision you're looking at? And we sometimes we cannot even anticipate some what this new uh, vision leadership is going to be. When we're dealing with things like the future of work, the new economy, can we even anticipate the kind of issues that are going to be there five, ten years from now? Yet people feel very anxious about this. What is their future of work? And so that idea of you know what is a really that vision that a leader can bring to the conversation is very critical. You know, my experience with leadership has really been about political leadership, uh, a more formal governmental style leadership. I think the, the past couple of days over here has shown me the idea of looking at leadership even in the arts, in the sciences, what don't necessarily traditionally come across as leaders. We see them as leaders in their field, but not necessarily as global leaders. Yet some of the things people are doing, some of the nominees who are doing things in the arts, in the sciences, really cause me to reflect and think much wider of this concept of leadership, to take that away and say, when the next time I'm thinking about leadership, next time I'm thinking of the values of leadership, let me think back of some of the people whose names I've looked at, whose uh, CVs I've looked at and say, what is there that I can learn from these people and then pass on to others as this idea of leadership for the future.